the computer to steal your job? There's an easy solution. Get a job where you tell them what to do. A lot of people don't understand that computers are actually quite dumb. They don't know how to do things on their own and they need you to literally walk them through every step of the way. That's what coding is, the language that tells computers what to do. According to Free Code Camp founder Quincy Larson, more and more employers are looking for people who can code. Coding is extremely important to learn because it's how you get basic work done in the 21st century. So where do you begin? Well, the first place to start, you can learn to code for free online. Harvard has a online course that's called CS50, which stands for Computer Science 50. It's one of the most popular Harvard courses. You can work through it completely at your leisure. Or you can join a program like Free Code Camp, build your portfolio, and expand your knowledge while helping nonprofit groups. Free Code Camp is completely free. You can dive in at any time. If you get stuck or have any problems, you can get help 24 seven in our chat rooms because we have people all around the world working through Free Code Camp together. Completing the program takes about 1200 hours, but don't be intimidated. If you actually want to be able to work productively at a company like Apple as a software engineer, you're going to need to put in a lot of time and effort getting good at coding. But at the same time, it's something anybody can do it's just a matter of sitting down and putting in the effort. Next, if you learn better in a classroom environment, try applying for App Academy. We started App Academy because we believe deeply in the idea of immersive education, but we wanted to make the program accessible to anybody. You may not pay tuition up front, but you'll pay 22 to 23 percent of your first year's income to the school and a $5,000 deposit that you get back after you complete the 12-week program. It's not just about theory. It's not just about you know understanding high-level concepts. It's about actually producing the stuff that you're going to go out there into industry and build yourself. And finally, you're never too young to start. Okay, Clarissa, let's go! Fisher Price's Code Pillar is geared to teaching toddlers a very basic level of coding. And then you can graduate to something a little more complex, like Wowie's robot, Koji. The robot that makes coding fun. Programmed using emoji language. So a lot of the toys aimed at helping young children learn to program are actually quite clever. And even though it may seem like it's a marketing gimmick, they will teach a lot of principles that will help kids learn uh, kind of the sort of things that are happening inside of a computer and how all these technologies fit together. No matter how you feel about tech coding, it's here to stay. A lot of people are looking around and they're thinking, I really, I don't need to learn how to code. And I think this is kind of similar to back in the 1980s when people were like, oh, I don't need to learn how to type. Reality is, in the 21st century, if you want to get work done, you need to be able to get machines to do that work for you efficiently. And the way you do that is by coding. The second language you need to learn in the 21st century is on the top of the list.